Hello lovely people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be unboxing some new products that I just got in from uh, Born Pretty. I'm really excited about these. Um, they sent me over a couple of gel polishes, gel liner, and a couple of cat eye polishes you guys. So I'm excited to get these unboxed and uh, show you all what they look like. And I also got a little magnet, okay? So I'm going to start with the gel polishes first. So this here is... Okay, this is their rubber base gel, and it's in, I don't know what color this is though. Hmm. I'm guessing this is when it was manufactured here, so I'm guessing it's 56595, 56595-16, I'm guessing that's the color here. Also too, it looks like they um, upgraded their gel polish or rubber base coat boxes. Um, I will say I do like the old rubber base gel boxes better. Um, but maybe this is a different collection of them, but yeah, this is what the bottle is looking like. It's really nice. It's sleek. Um, it's cool to see Born Pretty kind of changing up with the design of their bottles, but yeah, let's take a look at this polish here. Ooh, really nice, deep nude rubber base coat. That's very pretty. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, I have done some detailed tutorials on the Born Pretty rubber base coats. I am going to leave those videos linked down in the description box below. But these products are tried and true. I actually really, really like them a lot. They perform very well on the nails, especially on the natural nails. Um, the next color we have here is, let's see. Okay, this is another rubber base gel. And this one is 056595-19. Okay, yeah, and this was dash 16, so this is dash 19. So I guess it's from, I guess, their new rubber base collection. Um, and this one here, I was really drawn to it because it's a smoky black color. Let me show you guys. Ooh, look at that. That's really, really pretty. I don't have like a smoky black that's in a rubber base um, formula. So I was really excited to get that. So we have this. Then I was really excited to see that they have gel liners as well. So that's really different for Born Pretty. So it's really cool to see them expanding into some new types of nail art. Um, they're really innovative when it comes to their nail art as well. But this is a liner paint gel. And it's in the color LP11. And um, it looks like this is 10 ml. So it's a pretty big bottle. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, this is... Oh, gosh. That's beautiful. Wow. Do y'all see? This looks just like a mirror. Holy moly, that looks good. And I love that um, the liner brush comes in like a regular size bottle. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen any gel liners that just come in the standard gel polish bottle, but it makes sense. Very, very nice, y'all. That, ooh, that looks like it's gonna be good. I can't wait to try this out. So I got that. And then I got also got a couple of cat eye polishes here. Um, let's see. The first one we have here is a Moonlight Cat Eye. Again, it's in the 10 ml bottle here. And this is the bottle that kind of has that little hand and you can kind of see the color of the product through the bottle. Ooh, very nice. Another really pretty nude color. Can't wait to get this cat eye going with that. And then last but not least, we have, um, let's see, Reflective Glass Cat Eye Magnet Gel, okay? Ooh. This is a fun color. Yeah, you know what, when I was on their website, this this color looked really cool because it's a cat eye, but it has like a lot of different shifts when it comes to the cat eye. Like I think there was like a green, red, goldish, pinkish shift to it. So I'm excited to play around with that one. So yeah, y'all, let's get these colors swatched out. 96595-16. And yeah, y'all, I really love their rubber base coats. Um, it's of a thicker consistency and it just self level self levels really nicely and adds a really nice protective layer to your natural nail um yeah really really big fan of these you want to go in with maybe one or two coats of it i normally do two coats but look how beautiful that color is i'm gonna go ahead and cure five six five nine five one nine and this is that really beautiful smoky black really nice jelly smoky black oh my gosh i'm so excited to play around with this color like how cool is this look at that all right i'm gonna go ahead and cure moonlight cat eye polish in 57450-3 very pretty and with this one you'll definitely need a magnet 
this one's a little bit more sure. I forgot to open my magnet here, so let's get that opened up. So I actually don't have any magnets like this, but I do like this one because I want to just have it to where the magnet kind of goes towards the center. I don't know what I did with it here. Uh, look, it just disappeared. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure. Reflective glass cat magnet gel in 57332 2. Okay. Ooh, very nice. So I think that this color is supposed to be on top of a black. I'm gonna just swatch it out as is first just to see what kind of effect we'll get with it. And then I'll try it on top of a black. I'm not really seeing the magnets do too much. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. I went ahead and swatched out a black on a swatch stick, and I wanna see what that last color, Oh, Yep, that answered my question. This is what it looks like with a black, and it shows up way better. Wow, how beautiful is this? My goodness. So yeah, definitely need a black background for this one. How pretty is this color? Okay, now I'm curious to see what the cat eye would do. It was cool in the, the picture they did online. They had it where they did a French tip. So I'm going to see if I can maybe try to do a French tip with it. Uh, nope, that didn't happen. So let's see what happens when I do this. Mm, nothing. Let's see what happens when I do this. Nothing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I know how to work with this magnet here. I don't see the pieces really moving. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> okay, so I guess they are moving because it didn't look like this just now. Okay, so let's try it again. And then when I do this, okay, so it turns it like a pinkish color. That is the cat eye shift. Pinkish blue, I think. Uh, I don't know, I'm just here. <laughs> Silver liner paint in LP11. You guys, this color is so pretty, oh my gosh. I think I wanna just try to see what it looks like. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Doing a French tip. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. Do y'all see? This is really nice. I am in love with this metallic color, wow. Look, this looks just like a mirror, y'all. Stop. Wow. This is gorgeous. Wow. Made a beautiful French tip. Look at that, y'all. And I'm also curious to see how thin these lines actually are. So let's see. So happy to have this, y'all. Look at that. Just, just look at it. Wow. It can go as thin or as thick as you want. I love that. Wow. That is so cool. Y'all see that? That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the color here. This is a silver metallic everybody needs in their collection. Wow. You just let it settle. It evens out beautifully and now it looks like a mirror. I am very impressed with this. Wow. All right, I'm gonna cure. Dang, that's nice. That's nice. This here is that first rubber base coat and it's in the color 5659516. It's a really beautiful um, jelly nude color. The other rubber base coat, which is in this really beautiful smoky black color, and that's 9659519. It's a really beautiful cat eye. It's a moonlight cat eye gel, 5745013. And as you all can see, it has that nice little cat eye shift to it. Reflective glass magnet cat eye. And it's in the color 57332-2. Um, and this is what it looks like without any backdrop. This is what it looked like without a black base coat. It was hard for me to figure out how to get the 
magnet to work so I don't have to play around with that a little bit more um, but this is how it looks on top of a black and I think you can kind of see the shift a little bit it looks like the cat eye is more like a blue shift like a bluish gold shift so I think I did it but I have to play around with it a little bit more but hands down my favorite item that I got out of this is this absolutely stunning I'm talking stunning um, silver uh, gel paint color and it's in the color LP 11 holy moly does this not look like a mirror you guys I absolutely love it so I do want to do a really quick nail art design I want to go in with a couple of coats of this black rubber base coat and do a metallic and do a design with that metallic chrome color with that silver metallic chrome color so I'm going with two coats of this and cure this is what two coats of the black looks like now I just want to go in I'm just gonna do a real simple design you guys I'm just gonna do some squiggly lines okay and then we gonna call it a day I think I want to do a squiggly line like so oh how pretty is that and a squiggly line like so and actually I don't I want to fill it in too now that I'm thinking about it I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in Wow, how pretty is that? I'm going to cure. So this is what my chrome nail design is looking like. Super duper cute, you guys. So yeah, I want to give another special shout out to Born Pretty for sending these products over for review. I had a lot of fun playing with them. You all are really great at coming out with some really cool, unique products. Um, I do have a discount code with Born Pretty. I am going to leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. In case you guys want to get your hands on some of their products, I am a huge fan of Born Pretty. They are high quality with a nice affordable price point. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!